Hello, Alt Anime Fan here, and I'm sure most of y'all are waking up or finding out about the news of that Kyoto Animation Studios is fucking gone. It's gone. Burned to the ground by a crazy person. Lots of people dead, and one of them really fucking important. So let's just get straight into this article from the BBC. Kyoto Animation Fire. Arson attack at Japan Anime Studios kills 33 so far. At least 33 people are dead and dozens injured after a man set fire to an animation studio in the Japanese city of Kyoto, officials say. Police said the 41-year-old suspect broke into the Kyoto Animation Studio on Thursday morning and sprayed petrol before igniting it. The suspect has been detained and has taken to hospital with injuries. <clears throat> Japanese Prime Minister Shinzo Abe, by the way, Shinzo Abe is a notorious anime fan, said the incident was too appalling for words and offered condolences. Kyoto Animation, known as Kyo Ani, producer, produ uh, produces films, uh, produces, uh, produces films and graphic novels, and is well regarded by fans for the quality of its productions. Kyoto Animation pretty much defined the mid to the mid 2000s when it came to anime with a lot of their stuff especially Harumi Suzumiya and K-On that really rocketed them up to a really really prominent point in when it came to anime studios I mean they're not like a studio Ghibli but you know when you talk about anime studios even layman's know nothing about anime will know Kyoto Animation so let's uh let's continue. How did the incident unfold? The fire broke out at the three-story building at around 10:30 local time on Thursday. Rescue operations are still ongoing. Kiyoani, the beloved studio making distinctive art. Police also found knives at the scene, say local media. NHK said the man had been heard saying drop dead as he set fire to the building. The suspect's relationship with the company is unclear. Eyewitnesses describe a loud explosion followed by an inferno that reportedly engulfed the building. I saw some people with burns covered with something. They were rushed to the, to the ambulance, one neighbor said. Firefighters found ten victims on the stairway linking the second floor to the roof and is feared more people could still be on the top floor. Yeah, stairways are fucking death traps in a fire. That's all I have to say about that one. They're goddamn death traps. And I don't even want to think about how many people are fucking dead on that third floor of that building, but it's probably a lot. <sighs> Let's continue. Japanese officials said the victims were dead or in cardiopulmonary arrest. That's a fancy way of saying we don't know who they are, but they're dead. Some 36 people in the hospital, some in critical condition, reports say about 70 people were in the building when the fire started. More than half of this company is dead. This studio is crippled. To, to put this into words when it comes to the impact that this will have on anime, this is the 9-11 of anime. The, the destruction of this studio is a 9-11 size attack for the anime industry and will probably change the makeup of anime for a very long time to come. I mean, we'll get the normal stuff from NHK about how was this an otaku? Was this just another example of the of our culture crumbling and it will change the landscape of anime forever from now on it will change everything who's the suspect latest reports say the man is not a former employee but eyewitnesses say he appeared to be angry with the animation studio they said he ran away from the building toward a nearby train station after the fire started but fell on the ground some reports said he was pursued by employees of kyoto animation a person with singed hair was laying down there with bloody footprints. A 59-year-old woman living nearby told Agency, Ki told Agency Kayodu. It seemed he'd been in pain, irritated, suffering, but also angry as he was resentful. I heard him saying something like, you copied it, a neighbor said. Well, fuck, they could have, this could just be a dude who submitted artwork to try to become an employee, didn't make it in. And then maybe saw something he regarded as similar to what he did being used in an anime. Or maybe a story he submitted 
that he felt was very similar and used by another company. I mean, this is just conjecture, but this is what I think may come out later on because this is an ongoing event. It's not done yet. We'll probably find out more and more and more in the coming days. The Arashi Shimbu newspaper quoted a 60 a 61 year old neighbor as saying she clearly heard the man shout you ripped me off the suspect was injured and being treated in hospital so police could not immediately question him all right here's a map of where it is kyoto the studio and everything funny when i was working in japan i've actually been by this studio never been in it but i've been around it and i've been by it and what always weirds people out when they go to japan is like here when you think of an animation studio you think of somewhere in a business district stuff like that with a lot of Japanese animation studios that's not how it goes these studios are in residential blocks you will be they will be around homes and stuff like that it's real crazy <clears throat> Japanese media's reports said a man in his 40s had earlier bought 40 lighters 9 gallons of petrol at a nearby petrol station Two containers used for fuel were later found at the scene at the fire, Arashi Shimbu newspaper reported. Meanwhile, Kyoto Animation director Hadaki Hara told the broadcast that the company had recently received threatening emails. They were addressed to our office sales department and told us to die, he said. You see, they get so many things like this, they can never know if it's true or false, or if it's a legit, th or if it's a legit threat. That's what's so scary about these things you never know and thank god hot is not dead but unfortunately another very prominent one is i'll get to that in a second <sighs> mr hada told reporters that he was heartbroken at the stack well of course he's heartbroken his studio is gone think about all the ongoing animes they're making right now that are done that are fucking done animation cells destroyed artists possibly dead I'm not sure about the impact when it comes to voice actors and things like that, but a lot of fucking people are going to be affected. And it's not just going to affect Kyoto Animation. It's going to affect many other parts of this of, of this industry. This industry is going to be shooken up insanely after this. It is unbearable that people who helped carry Japan's animation industry were hurt and lost their lives this way, he said. Yeah, it, 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 it's devastating to put it the least. What do we know about the studio? Kyoto Animation, known as Kyo Annie, was founded in 1981 and has produced popular animation shows including K-On! and The Melancholy of Harumi Suzumiya. Those are their flagship shows. I mean, The Melancholy of Harumi Suzumiya was a national sensation that I think very few things, with the exception of maybe Gundam and the JoJo franchise, come close to being like. The studio also released a standalone feature anime, Silent Voice, in 2016, one of Kyoto Animation's series, Violent Evergreen, picked up by Netflix for a global market. Yeah, Violent Evergreen is fucked too. I'm not sure how I feel about that one. It also published many popular graphic novels, mainly Teenage School Life. The studio is known for paying its animators a regular salary, breaking with the industry standard of paying per frame, which is seen as putting extreme pressure on staff. It is also the first successful studio outside Tokyo, proof Ryoko Harara from Moji University told NHK. Who, how fans reacted. Okay. Japanese anime has a huge following, not just in Japan, but around the world. On social media, many fans have been expressing their shock and posting pictures of their favorite Kyo anime shows. A GoFundMe campaign titled Hape Kyo Anime Heal has also been started, with more than $300,000 raised in six hours. Voiceover artist Shung Woon Chu, who worked on the anime film, was among those. Alright, and here are people's tweets. Sentai Filmworks, a US license from Specialized Japan Anime, also posted, as did Honey Anime is an anime fan site. These are just people's things. Fans have been sharing images of their favorite. Alright, this one right here. Yeah, a lot of people are fucked with that one. More people posting their favorite ones. Now, Let's get to one of the biggest losses in this whole thing. And that would be <laughs> and that would be Yoshiro Takamoto being dead. Here's just some of his works that he worked on for the studio. Air, Amagi Brilliant Park, Chunyonbu Kumyokai Shintai, Clanad, Full Metal Panic, Second Raid, 
Hayoka, Inuyasha, Kaon, Kobayashi Chi no Maid Dragon, Liz to Oitori, Lucky Star, Nanjiju, I can never pronounce that, The Melancholy of Harumi Suzumiya, or Harumi Suzumiya, Hari no Shoji, uh, Shoshimitsu, or whatever, and Violet Evergreen, who worked on the ninth episode. So, all of these shows, most of which aren't even being animated anymore, Kaon is done, Amagi Brilliant Park is done, I think Violet Evergreen was going to get another season, I'm not sure, but with his death, all of these shows, and the studio itself is fucked. We don't even know the losses right now when it comes to key animation staff, when it comes to other people behind the scenes, writers, or maybe some people who were there doing some other work. This attack is horrifying in its scale and other things like that. It's gonna be it's gonna be bad the next couple of the next couple of years for anime are gonna see the the uh, the repercussions from this attack how the how anime changes itself because of this attack is going to happen maybe who knows maybe it will come out that this guy did have ideas stolen and it could adjust and it could address certain topics like that in Japan when it comes to creator control over their intellectual properties or when it comes to certain other laws in Japan you never really know I just know that this is a horrifying thing to happen. Let's see how all the sides in Japan react to it. Because I can guarantee you, you'll have NHK blaming anime itself. You'll have other, you'll probably have foreign outlets chiming in their two cents. Something tells me that this is going to be an insane, this is an insane event. And it'll continue on for a long time. This is just the beginning. They're still pulling bodies out of that building. Who knows what will happen after this? Who who knows what we'll see? It's it's mind-boggling almost. Well, that's it for right now. I'll post another video once we find out more about what's going on. Later.